All right, so today's a day for shorts. Now, I finished the Karn uh, script. It, of course, has gone longer than five minutes because it's Karn, and Karn is a swell guy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to be checking these out. I'm going to do maybe ten. I don't know how many more I'm going to do. We'll get through a good amount of them today. But all these shorts were put into the Discord. Now, if you need to know where the Discord is, just look down in the channel description down below. The first one is requested by the Burb of Judge and Christmas. And this is courtesy Coombers, A Little Advice. Here we go. Psst, hey. The Big Smurf doesn't want you to know that Guardsmen are free. You can take them. I have 41 Cadians and two Kriegers. What? I missed it. I missed it, but I'm an idiot, so... There we go. Not sure what to think about that, but somebody please explain that down in the comment section. It's gotta be a rule. It's gotta be a rule thing that I haven't, like, caught up to date with. Next, from SSJ4Blue, we have Curl the Deranged. A typical ritual for a Nurgle champion. Now, considering who this is coming from, I already know this is going to be fucking ridiculous. Here we go. Carl the Deranged, guys. Go summon with the dead ones, chanting the rites of the eggs of heart. Go summon with the dead ones, from essential souls. Yes, go summon with the dead ones, from the hearts of the Lechai. Go summon with the dead ones. I don't know what that was about. I don't want to know what that was all about. We're going to move right along to Typhus getting trolled by Orc Logic. This was done by Dreadanon. It is requested by the Burb of Judge and Christmas. Again. Clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Here we go. Okay, cough, cough. Don't get too close, you stink. Okay. <coughs> oh, don't get too close, you stinky dick. Even you couldn't handle this disease, I this coming <laughs> I love the orcs in the background the orcs in the background every single time it went on to the orcs <laughs> so right now I'm at the Curtis B. C. Coomer that I really didn't understand a little advice Carl the deranged who constantly makes me question my own sanity and Typhus getting trolled by orc logic Moving right along. All right, Lord Inquisitor Alfarius has asked for 50 50, 50, 56 scratches 
Bane Blade. It's a 40, 40k webcomic dub. Now, um, if you're hearing some noise in the background, it's my heater. Sorry, guys. One of these days I'm going to fix all this, but it is what it is for now. Here we go. Let me turn this up a little bit more. There we go. Ah, before you start as our new sponsor gunner, I'll give you the tour. Oh, I appreciate it, Sergeant. This is the driver's compartment. Mm -hmm. huh? Tactical room. Oh. Capola. Oh. Captain's quarters. Oh. Basketball court. Uh. <laughs> Swimming pools. Uh. <laughs> the garden. Ooh. And the warp portal. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Hey, Sarge, I've been wondering, where is everyone? Oh, they're down in Sector 13. We're in Sector 2. Lieutenant Tannis is throwing a birthday bash at Primarch's Grill. Bane blades are ridiculously huge. Ridiculously huge. They are... I can't even give the exact dimensions off the top of my head, but they're the size of an apartment building. They're friggin' massive. Which makes Uzarkar Creed's ability to turn them into scouts even more hilarious. Moving right along. Right, so now we have something special here. Baldermort. Warhammer 40k, an introduction. This was requested by Cyber Commander. And we're gonna go ahead and get into this. I love Baldermort to death. Um, I can listen to the guy read the phone book. Here we go. For more than a hundred centuries, the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. He is the master of mankind. By the might of his inexhaustible armies, oh. a million worlds stand against the dark. Yet, he is a rotting carcass. The Carrion Lord of the Imperium held in life by marvels from the dark age of technology and the thousand souls sacrificed each day so that his may continue to burn. What it sounds like is he's taken the, um, the one introduction of 40k and done it in his own fashion. To be a man in such times is to be one amongst untold billions. It is to live in the cruelest a most bloody regime imaginable. It is to suffer an eternity of carnage and slaughter. It is to have cries of anguish and sorrow drowned by the thirsting laughter of dark gods. This is a dark and terrible era where you will find little comfort or hope. Forget the power of technology and science. Forget the promise of progress and advancement. Forget any notion of common humanity or compassion. There is no peace amongst the stars. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Perfection. Um, guys, if you're wanting to know who my favorite lore channel is, it is his. Um, I highly recommend anyone who's just getting into the lore to just pick a topic and go with him because he, the way he puts out his lore is incredible to me. Now, everybody has their preferences, but he is my number one. All right, moving right along. It seems like somebody crawled out of a Sineshi pub recently and decided to wander into the shorts request line and has put in a request from the Adeptus Ad Animatorum an important message and this was requested by Draxus the deliverer of lewds in any case here we go come follow me my son
<laughs> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. But he did do so many things wrong. It took me a minute to get over that one. Okay, so the next is a request by the Oriver. I have no idea how to say your name, bro. O R O V Y R. Sorry. This is from Bread and Butter, and it's Space Marine Slanesh Corruption. It's a Bow Buddy comic. Here we go. Hey, buddy. I think you've got the wrong door. The Slanishy Temple is two blocks down. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, Slanishy man. Maybe you and I should settle it right here on the rig if you think you're so tough. Oh yeah? I'll kick your ass. I'll show you who's the boss of this fortress monastery. Oh, my soldier. Sister, please. That is not what the space marines are about. You're creeping everyone out. Please, stop. The next day. Sisters, beware of the tyrannid Xenos. They seek to implant us in walls of flesh and break our minds with their phallus tentacles. Uh -huh. Eventually they will modify our mammary glands and transform us into lewd milk dispensaries. How horrible. Well, I'm happy you didn't discover Yuri Dojins instead. Really? <laughs> really? Alright, next up we have... A request from Super Saiyan Daclonius. I will get your name wrong until the Emperor comes back. He requested Leroy Plambex Daka. Here we go. Every time I think about Abaddon issuing orders and him thinking he makes sense. Here we go. <laughs> this is what should happen to the towel. This is what should happen to the towel. Yes. Okay. <laughs> These are really good. Next up, we have Chameleon, who has requested something from Carlton Arranged again. I'm already done. This is a, this is an orc farce here. Here we go. In the grim dawns of the far future, there's only war. My boat, not me. Oh. I'm an elder. I've got my fancy bunchy crystals. I've got my super blazers towards you. I've got to have some sexual intercourse with Great and you chaos. What do I have to do? <laughs> the bad part about that is there's it's completely accurate. That's the best part about that one. Oh my god. Um, just no. Just no. We're moving right along. Alright, so. Last one for this one is from Zach. And it's Tonight on Imperial Gear. This was put forward by Sleeping Force Productions. I'm pretty sure I've seen some shorts by them before and I'm pretty sure I almost died. In any case, we're going to go ahead and... Keep right on trucking. Here we go. Tonight on Imperial Gear, Magnus throws a tantrum and breaks Madness. Madness Intergalactic Space Highway. 
Lehman Rush pretends to not own a fursuit, and Fulgrim, the Palatine Phoenix, once again tries to convince everyone that tiaras are manly. <laughs> what is... What is... Is it Top Gear? Is it Top Gear? Please tell me it's Top Gear. Um, I can't remember the name of the show that sounded exactly like this and was exactly like this in every way. This is good. Look, we got Highlander, uh, The Witcher, and Skyrim. All right, we're not going to stop here. We're not. We're going to keep going because the very next thing I see is something by the absolutely loyal Space Marine and his pale Plague Marines get sick. All right, so this was the aforementioned Plague Marine gets sick. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> This is by Twiggy Shea, by the way. Where is Brother Hog? The attack starts in five minutes. He's sick. Oh. Okay, then. I guess we have to attack without him. He even has a certificate from the apothecary. Next up, Agent Error requested 56 Scratch. Now, before I go into that, uh, why is one fourteen ninety four requested LFS's Don't Ask? And I've actually seen that before, and I'm not in the habit of watching things that I've seen before. But, I'm still going to put it down in the description below, and why is one, I'm probably going to try to find the video where I actually saw that before and send that to you. Um, I watched it before I watched something else. I can't remember exactly what. I think it was during the text when I was watching text speech almost every day. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't really like putting stuff out that I've seen before unless I expressly say that I've seen it before. Um, so, 56 Scratch, Psychological, Psych Orc Logical Warfare. Here we go. Major! Orc Armored Column approaching. Get the Magnoculars and the Artillery on Vox. So let's take a look at what we're up against. Wait. Something's wrong. Major? Oh, my say, boss. I wasn't sure about this Psych Orc Logical Warfare at first. But this tea is truly excellent. Hear, hear, old chap. <laughs> By the throne. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> but the thought of... A bunch of orcs riding around on the war truck drinking tea. That's... That's... It's perfectly rational when you think about it. In any case, you guys would have to put me through this. This is Carl the Deranged narrating Dawn of War. And this was requested by Altec Moore. You guys, you guys should know at this point that Carl the Deranged is one of my favorite voices from text-to-speech. Just the... For some reason... He just encapsulates everything just ridiculously overwrought about the entire setting. Here we go. The Blood Ravens destroyed the cities. Great, brave, lumbering towers of monolithic fucking shit. Commander Angelos teaming up with Commander Boreal defeated the Orcs. The Orcs in a war boss and a warg. The, the Orcs, the Orcs warband. Decided to create a mercy war. So, even my grass school skull knobs, they all destroyed everything. Yes, because they were there. The Necrons built the towering monoliths of grey and black obsidian structures. Massive foul fucking monoliths. The orcs destroyed the monoliths. Yes, because they were there. The Imperial. Any fast inheritor, the wish open no portal to demon hell. I 
were physically lost to from everything. <coughs> they were there. The Tau found the Necron too well and unleashed from the fucking river. <laughs> the Imperial Guard sent in their guard. They all killed them. Yes, because they were there. The Orcs, the Blood Dreamers, followed by Commander Angelos and Captain Moriel. Planet Kronos, the destroyer of worlds. A planet was destroyed. <coughs> Hey! My own stuff comes up in the recommended suite! <laughs> Carl needs to seriously narrate more Warhammer stuff. He seriously does. If I, if I suddenly become a trillionaire tomorrow, and I'm gonna make the Armageddon TV show and he's gonna narrate it in that voice. Harrowmaster Kell of the Alpha Legion said, Yay, Carl! and put in Carl the Deranged Rogue Traders. So it's a back-to-back -back Carl thing. Here we go. Now this is what I call space exploration. I'll be gobsmacked. This is one fine trolley cart. <coughs> Did you hear our whooping just now? Lord's bum, our oxygen supply is de deplete. It's... It's leaking. Great what? Caesar's ghost! Calm down there, Sam. There's no reason for your fucking profanity. <laughs> hey, you two twats. If you're done making out there like a couple of Rogers, I see you patch up that gas leak. All right, we'll find the hole where gas is leaking and plug it up with something. Might I suggest what? You might, but I have a better idea. Stop leaking! Stop leaking, you ugly whore! Stop it! <laughs> now. Th I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't want to start getting it. My brain will explode. <laughs> Moving on. Alright, so the War Emperor wanted to see Curtis C. Coombers, the weirdest last words ever spoken. Now, this thing's only eight seconds long. Here we go. Well, you either fucking die in this galaxy or you die fucking. Moving on, moving on, moving on. All right, so next we have another thing from the War Emperor, and this is from Drenanon. Zoomer Primaris versus Boomer Dreadnought. It's a 40k comic, so here we go. Press play, there we go. Try it again. Okay, so then I had to tell the Chaos Sim that sissy slanishy femboys on Discord are cringe and only for soy boy heretic consumers. Whereas the trap tomboy Duma Krieger GF with abs and a big titty tech free smolly is completely based. But then this cuck said, Listen, kid. I have absolutely no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Please just leave me alone. Return me to my ancient slumber at once. <laughs> it's appropriate and legit. It's appropriate and legit. <laughs> Alright, so these are these are really good. I'm enjoying all of these. Um, so now we have another request by Lord Inquisitor Alfarius, and this was done by Talos, and it's Warhammer 40Ks and fans be like. And here we go. True. That pause. <laughs> yeah, this is entirely accurate. <laughs> Yes. 
<sighs> Let's not mention Tell fans. and like to his stuff. I got his stuff in the description down below. Please give it a like. That was great. Might want to decrease the speed a little bit, but that was great. I do not want to watch this. I do not want to watch that. Alright, so this was requested by Bishop, another thing by Curtis C. Coomer, an Imperial Fist investigating Slaneshi cult hideouts. 15 seconds long. Here we go. What is this hole, and how can one use it to its own glory? This is the most cursed thing. This is the most cursed thing. If you don't know what this is, do not look it up, please, for the love of God. Just, just know, this is cursed. This is absolutely cursed. Bishop, you should be ashamed of yourself. This is cursed. Next we have, from the Burb of Judge and Christmas, um, she, uh, she, bu she Spacebook does not support this meme. Here we go. And of course, of course, I, that last one just got to me. It just cursed. Of course, we start with the Black Templar and I have the urge to purge. Here we go. I have the urge to purge. I'm yearning for a burning. You're insisting <coughs> on a piston. Spacebook does not support this meme. Oh, Christ. Ultramarine. Thank you, Matt Ward. Alright, next up we have the War Emperor requesting over overly literal tech priests. And this is another comic dub. And here we go. These are the new Hellfire Realms. The core was replaced with a vial of intergenic acid. Is this good for tyrannids? No, it kills them. <laughs> <laughs> So next we have Lord Inquisitor Alpharius requesting Emperor's Text to Speech animated Kitten's armor gets removed. And I, like pretty much all of you, want to see Text to Speech return because that cliffhanger sucked. In any case, here we go. Let me see what kind of pigment your corporeal container has, and I will figuratively pour acid salt all over it. Wait, I am so confused, my lord. Why are your eyes lighting up in the same fashion? Wait, what the heck are you doing? No! <laughs> what the fuck? I'd love to see the entire thing animated. Oh, God. There's so much that I want to see. Like, I'm looking at this thing. Drax's Deliver of Ludes reacted with a sad face. We all miss this. And just, I hope Bruva and the crew just get all the support they need going into whatever they're doing next. And I'm going to support them. I know that. All right, so Dead Money Joe in the Discord wants to hear chaotic voices... The Black Templar's Prayer. This is apparently some 40k voice acting. So let's go ahead and hear this. I don't think this is going to be funny, but if they surprise me, I'll probably die. In any case. Suffer not the unclean to live. Lead 
us from death to victory, from falsehood to truth. Lead us from despair to hope, from faith to slaughter. Lead us to his strength and an eternity of war. Let his wrath fill our hearts. Death, war, and blood. In vengeance, serve the Emperor in the name of Dawn. Hmm. I approve of this message. I approve of this message. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the Black Templars are definitely my favorite faction as far as uh, Space Marines go. So, anything regarding them, I'm already a fan of. Alright, more from the Dreadanon. This was requested by War Emperor. This is if the Orcs had a TV show. And just based off... Pugs are upset. Just based off the screen, the uh, thumbnail of this, I already know this is going to be senseless. Here we go. Until now, the word Decker has not appeared in Hollywood. I'm sad to say, there is a new fashion now. Our young gods wear their jeans without a belt. Sagging pants. Who wears sagging style pants? The Humies on terror. But as far as we're concerned, we should erect a statue of Horus for what he... This is the average day for me. If you don't... This is because the hospital left the room they're in. So they're absolutely going crazy right now. This is just what they do. This is just what they do. Alright, moving right along. I already know what... <laughs> Here, just moving along. Get to the humans! The story is clear now. You is a supporter of the humans. This kind of statement can only be made by a grump. Am I making myself clear? You is a git who has a squid for a brain. In the past, I compared the evil sons to herds of squids. I would like to bow my head and apologize. To the squids. <laughs> but when the orcs beat their grots, it is viewed as part of their culture. Oh, God. Unfortunately, some grots want to live a life of equality with their war boss. This is a very grave problem. They came to take our Dakka, but the Dakka remains in our hands. <laughs> There was no one named W.A. Mozart because Mozart was not an Austrian. His real name was War Mozart. He was a secret orc. What the hell? It was the orc codex that taught the world to respect war, man. Oh, God. He will be even less than a zoo. He will be a plastic flip flop shower suit <laughs> worn by the cow water cost. The girl said, Nothing can withstand this detergent. It will clean anything, even a squid. Then she began to clean the squid. She kept cleaning the squid for a long time, but then she saw that the squid was as filthy as it had been before. <laughs> I conduct dialogue with the Jews, <laughs> but if the Tao join the dialogue, I say no! Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> if you don't know what this is a mockery of, there is a news show, a news show in the Middle East in somewhere, and they make statements like this constantly. One of my, one of the funniest ones, well, not really that funny, but if you look at it from an outside standpoint, it says the, this guy's sitting there talking, they're talking about Canada, and this guy turns to another person and is like, the only thing Canada deserves is a nuclear holocaust. I was like, holy shit, bro. <laughs> holy shit.
I understand not liking moose milk, but calm it down just a notch. All right, moving right along. This is from Dreadanon. This is requested by Lynn Wilkie. Now, Lynn Wilkie, he runs a, he runs a uh, Twitch stream where he does uh, World of Warships, and on Wednesdays, and I think it's Tuesdays and Wednesdays, he likes to paint. Um, he's currently a sinless in Black Templar, the last time I was able to pop in on that stream. But go in and give him a check out. Um, he's in the Discord, and just his, his own Discord server's over there. So just send him a tell and ask him what's up. In any case, moving right along, this is his requesting of Warhammer 40k Space Marines Good Ending. Captain Titus, I have no choice but to find you guilty. I understand, Inquisitor. If you'll permit me to say but a few last words to my men, I... Yes, guilty. Guilty of being based. Um, in Inquisitor? Ending a chaos invasion of a forged world all by itself? The Codex Astartes does support such an action. Oh, well, uh, thank you, Inquisitor. Leandros didn't seem to think so. Leandros was a bitch. Leandros can suck a fat one. <laughs> now, let's get you a six-month stay on a paradise world, you absolute mad lad. Okay. Captain Titus regaled the High Lords with tales of his dared daring do while on vacation was subsequently restored to his rank with full honors receiving a fist bump from chapter Mar master Marnius Calgar himself if you received a fist bump from Calgar your entire arm would shatter Inquisitor Thrax party too hard and lost the keys to his Thunderhawk with his Black Templar escort in tow, he secured the planet in search of them. He scoured the planet in search of them, only to remember they were in his back pocket the entire time. <music> Lieutenant Mira was promoted to the rank of General for exemplary conduct during the defense of Gria, and was given one of those nifty long coats. At her swearing-in ceremony, Titus r rushed on stage and gave her a great big hug, fracturing her spine in three places. <laughs> Leandros was immediately detained by the chap chaplaincy upon his return to McCrack for betrayal of Titus's trust. Thank you. He was giving a death oath to scrub every toilet on the planet. He tells any chapter surf who will listen about that time he... Own that Hecklin Chad Titus, Captain Titus, to this day. Leandro sucks so much. The, oh, the ending of that was... I was so unrelentingly bitter at that entry because of how Leandros was just... Like, Leandros just comes in at the end. Oh, well, I suck, but, you know, you... Spacebook said what you did is bad. And that's it. <laughs> That's it. We have one more left, guys. One more. And we have done quite a few tonight. All right, so we're actually at the end of the shorts page. I have done all the shorts in this one video. I am, I've am. i done a lot today. I've built a porch. I'm just taking care of a whole bunch of stuff. All these videos, I completed the Karn, uh, the Karn um, script. I'll probably be recording that later tonight. Um... This is the last one. Dread Monkey Joe has requested Dreadanon. Captain Titus's enemies react to the Space Marine 2 announcement. Here we go. Ha! You's never gonna get a sequel, Space Marine! Ha ha ha! It has been ten years, <gasps> Captain Titus. Your hopes of getting a sequel are long dashed. That pitiful quick time event where you crushed my skull will be the last action you ever see. Rest assured, brothers, I have taken actions to ensure that the heretic Captain Titus never gets a sequel. Fuck you. Uh, what? No! It can't be! No! Of course, 
they were not powerful enough to stop no, it. No, no, this can't be happening. The Codex of Stardust doesn't support this action. <laughs> Codex of Stardust does support this action. Screw what Leandro says. Well, guys, I have no idea how many I took a look at today. I just know this is going to take a while to actually get processed. By the time it gets done processing, hey, there's going to be some more to take a look at. Um, if you don't know how to put in a re put in a request for something to be seen, um. I handle all that through Discord because trying to sort through a whole bunch of comments. I, I have a bunch of videos right now, and sorting through the comments is an endeavor. I try to go and take a look at some comments, but once again, YouTube isn't exactly that great at letting me know when I do have comments. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I have the Discord, of course, down in the description, as well as a link to my Patreon. Um... All that being said, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did taking a look at these. I hope you guys have had a good weekend, and I will see you guys next time.